Hey, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a small little haul for you that I wanted to get up and I am just gonna jump into it quickly. I'm going to quickly introduce myself. My name is Haley. Somewhere on the screen will be my socials and this is a mainly beauty channel. I talk about, I talk about my makeup, makeup I want, new releases, I do quite a bit of a different range of things in the realm of makeup YouTube in conjunction with some nerdy things as well. I do have a gaming channel, I will link that down below where I do indie video game reviews, so if you are interested in that, go check that out as well. But yeah, I am weird, and if you're weird, I highly suggest you subscribe so we can be weird friends. Now, let's get into the tiny little haul that I have. Honestly, I didn't think that I was going to be doing another haul video this year. Um, but uh, one portion of this is a birthday present from my Nana. The other portion of this is from... Oh, I'm missing something. I almost forgot. Oh. Uh, a piece of makeup. Another one is a gift from a friend and then that same friend was doing a declutter and a lot of their palettes went up on Macari for so cheap and I could not help myself because all of these were palettes that were on my wish list and the fact that I could get them at the price that she was selling them out at was unreal to me so I just had I had to snag them and you will see why. So first I'm going to go with the one thing that she decided, decided to gift me and this is the Kaleido Lip Cream. I think it's a lip cream. Oh, Cloud Lab Lip Clay. There we go. Um, I have a, I'm on a lip collection journey. If you guys watched, I have recently decluttered half of my lip collection. It's now doubled <laughs> uh, and you will see what I've gotten but this was gen gener generously, there we go, generously given to me um, by a friend Betsy and I will link her channel down below and I highly suggest that you guys go check out her Macari as well because there are some stuff that's still unsold. So if there's anything on your wish list that you are looking to get on a deal, I would definitely check that out. But this is the shade Adobe and I will swatch the lip products that I have. This is so gorgeous. It is like a mauve brown nude that's that color right there it's a gorgeous formula let me get a better swatch for you it's a gorgeous formula it's a little more brown than the liquid capsule and give me mocha but it's a very similar shade and this formula i've used it plenty of times already is so beautiful it blurs that edge of your lips so nicely and it's just a really good kind of formula to overline with and blur and get that kind of uh powdery matte kind of look it's gorgeous i love it next um are two sets holiday sets that i got from my Nana for my birthday and I got these so tiny they're so small um trio of Pat McGrath lip lipsticks and I have the shades Beautiful Stranger Flesh 3 and Christy these are all in the matte trance formula and I think this formula is also gorgeous. It's very matte, but also not drying. And if you want a little bit of shine to your lips, I feel like it works really well with a lip oil underneath it. 
and if you wanted to top it with a gloss I've done that as well and it's still gorgeous it holds up it doesn't break down under a gloss and so here here are the colors from top to bottom this is beautiful stranger flesh three and then Christie. all unique colors to my collection in honesty these are a lot pinker than i thought they were gonna be in the in the swat like lip swatches on line these looked a little bit more brown a little more neutral and in person they're a little they're more cool toned than i had thought so but i mean <laughs> with the way my lip collection was i wasn't gonna get dupes <laughs> of anything so that kind of worked out but i i wish it would have been a lot more neutral how i thought that they were going to turn out turn out than they did but they are beautiful shades i again have worn these already beautiful formula the e they easily overline without looking like you obviously overlined i'm kind of regretful that i haven't like taken the plunge on any more like Pat McGrath uh, lip formulas because these are just absolutely stunning as far as application goes. And then the last thing in, in the present from my Nana was these set of Buxom lip glosses. And if you know that <laughs> the reason why I've gone on this lip journey was the fall collection of the Buxom shades of the shades buxom released so i have um four shades all again shades that weren't going to be duped in my collection i was however worried that there was going to be a dupe with my keep it full milani um but i've swatched them all against it and they're not anywhere near the same color um i was worried that it was this one i was worried that the, they were going to be the same color but they are not so let me swatch these for you. So from top to bottom, top is the clear. It's what I'm wearing today. And that is in the shade Dominique. Underneath that is the shade Sugar. Then the shade Dolly. And then the shade Brandy. I love them all. The scent is so heavenly. It's so sweet. It smells like kind of sugary and it's just I love applying these it's not sticky the plumping these are all like the plumping polishes the plumping effect is good I like the results and it is a menthol-y plump and not a spicy cinnamon plump which is my preference the the mint plump plump is my preference um, so that is also really good to me. And I, if I had to pick a favorite shade, it'd probably be Brandy. It has just enough pigment to make my lips look really full. And it amps up my lips as far as fullness. You know those kind of like videos where it's like the same companies who do like the eyebrow microblading, but they like do it on their lips and then the red their lips are really like red and like it looks like they got filler but didn't that's how brandy makes my lips look it looks like i just got that like weird needle microblading on my lips but i didn't and i think it's just absolutely a stunning shade and it's probably my favorite out of the glosses moving in to the eyeshadow portion of the haul um i added five palettes to my collection. <laughs> so I'm a little bit um, to capacity with eyeshadow right now, which is the reason why I'm doing that kind of eyeshadow potential, the palette potential spin-off series with each of my palettes so I can have a reckoning at the end of the year because there are still palettes that I wanna buy. I don't wanna stop buying palettes because I'm currently overwhelmed. I want to figure out what is in my collection that I really love and has a use and that I reach for. 
and then let go of the ones that I don't feel like work for me and my makeup preferences. So that's why I'm doing that because I, <laughs> I have just added so much eyeshadow in like the last two months. <laughs> so we'll start with the sad fella. And this is the Rare Beauty. This is the Magnetic Spirit. I'm really into shimmer heavy looks recently. And there's this one look that I can, that I do frequently where I make like a shimmer wing and it's just gorgeous and I love it. But sadly, um, the shades are almost all gone. I'm probably gonna just scrape it out because I, even using it with my finger, I have a lot of fallout and it was broken in the um, pictures of the listing. So I knew that there was a chance that it was gonna shatter more in transit. So this isn't like a slight um, to uh, Betsy or anything. Like I bought this knowing that it was shattered and that it had the potential to shatter more. So it was just so sad. Um, I tried to repress it and it's just a gorgeous like olivey greeny bronzy shade and I really like those shades. So it was just a little bit of a disappointment. And then this shade is the real standout for me but I really like an all shimmer palette. It's not something that bothers me just because I know that I use my palettes as singles. So that's not anything that will ever keep me from buying a palette is it if it's all matte or all shimmer. I also got the other Rare Beauty one. This is the Confident Energy. And this is what that looks like. Again, these are all old palettes. I'm sure that you've seen them. I am just letting you guys know that these are in my collection now. So I think this is a gorgeous palette. I can't wait to play with it. Um, I haven't played with this one yet. So we will see kind of what looks I can come up with and how it looks with some of my other uh, formulas. Next I have um, these two from Game Beauty. I have been waiting since the before the launch when I found the page and their palette hadn't even launched yet. I was so excited because I love gaming. I love nerdy things. I love Lord of the Rings. I love Star Wars. I love everything fantasy. And I was just so happy, genuinely, in my soul, deep down, happy that a brand was merging two things that I love so dearly. Um, I will say that this palette does have a press glitter. I swatched it. It wasn't, let me show you them. Um, I swatched it and I was like, mm, that's probably not for me. So I'm going to try and figure out a, what? a craft to do with this glitter to get it out of my palette. <laughs> um, but I have used this. It's not quite as deep as I would want it to be. Uh, this brown doesn't go quite as dark as I was hoping, but I find the formula to be fine and they build nicely on top of each other and the shimmers, I haven't played with these three, well actually I haven't, I haven't played with these two shimmers yet, but I've played with everything else in the palette and besides the press glitter. And I was getting actually a lot of compliments on the eye look that I wore that look in. Uh, the video probably before this, the speed reviews video of my Sephora haul, I was wearing this palette and I got numerous compliments on my eye look. Like I said in the comments, it was quite a bit of a struggle to get there because I was wanting to get that brown deeper, but the quality wasn't bad. It was just the depth that I was looking for wasn't there. I haven't played with this one yet. I'm looking forward to playing with this one so much. I love blue eyeshadow. Um, I do have the Tokyo palette, which I usually use 
for pastels I don't usually do pastel looks I know I'm kind of light today but I was look wanting to go more like acidy green grungy ish <clears throat> oh Jesus Christ I like opened my collar and a burp came out of my throat that was aggressive so I am anxious to see how this one performs I usually use pastels for transition shades for other deeper, more pigmented mattes. So that's probably how I will end up using these three shades in particular. The other half of the palette is a little more um, my speed as far as tone goes and depth. So there's that. I'm really happy that I have these. I can't even begin to tell you. And now. I can, I feel like since I have these and I've played with the formula and I know that they're improving their formula, I feel more inclined to let that like $45 go when I get the Victory palette because where before these palettes were, they weren't getting negative reviews, but they were getting mixed reviews. I don't think that I've seen a review of these palettes that have been like absolutely a thousand percent you should totally spend your money on this and like absolutely have no critiques of these palettes so I was just a little reserved which is why I didn't quite you know jump but to get these at the price that I did I was just like oh my gosh I gotta get them now and I am really happy that I own these. These are, these make my heart so happy just to see them in my collection. Not even touch them, just see them in my collection. I can't even tell you. And then the last palette I got is, why am I opening it? Like, I need to show you that first. The outside, the Flare palette from Ace Beauté. This is the old formula. And I know that a lot of people have had mixed feelings about this formula. I haven't had any issues with it so far. I've played with it four times and I love it. It builds beautifully and the colors are beautiful. The shimmers are beautiful. I, I really like this palette and I, I don't have any issues with the formula so far. Um, I have not played with Saffron, Aubergine, or Atlantis or Forest Pine. Those are the only ones I haven't like touched yet. Uh, all the shimmers I oh and Bayberry. Um, I've used Mirage, Firefly, Biscotti, Mulberry, Hazelnut, Acorn, Sherbert, Moss, Pumpkin. Did I say Firefly cider? So I I would say that I've used over half of this palette. And I, I love this palette. I love it so much. It's so beautiful. I like the mattes. I like the shimmers. And I, I am overall impressed with that so far. I will come back to you if I find any indiscrepancies in working with it further. But so far, so good. Um, that's all. That's all I got. Um... <laughs> I hope you guys have had a wonderful day. I hope you guys like this haul. And if there's anything that I have hauled today that you have opinions on, that you have worked with before, let me know down below your thoughts on what I have. And I will see you guys in the next one.